Can I go to the bathroom, please? Well, I know it's in detention. I just need to go take a bath. Go to the bathroom so you can take a beat. Now. No, no, I'm not gonna smoke. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, thanks. No, I don't have a pass. I'm just going to the bathroom. No, I'm not going to smoke. I'm just going to the bathroom. It's the hair, isn't it, right? I'm just going to the bathroom. How long have you been in the bed? No, not too long. Alright, um, yeah, I guess I can. Just thought I finished the smoke. Alright, no problem. Come on, Kevin, it's been 10 minutes. I'm not done with my smoke yet, man. Keep an eye out. All right, all right. All right. I don't want to get busted. All right. <sighs> hey, hey, Mr. Oliver. Uh, <laughs> Is anybody smoking in here? Natürlich. Set the world on fire. I just want to start. We're here in the 300 hall where the ceiling has just collapsed. I never thought I'd see the day where hard hats were required to go to school. I was sitting in math class doing problems and the tile was removed above my seat and I noticed some dust was falling on some debris because they were, they were stomping around up there and, uh, like as everyone was hearing the crane moving around and people yelling and urinating off the roof and everything but then the drill started coming through the ceiling and you could see it the drill that the orange has come through right above that so you can this, this heavy stuff started coming I think they should have fixed it this summer. You know what? When I when I walked down the 200 hall to end to go to architecture, I was walking out, and now when I walk out of there, I have to always look up for falling materials. I don't know what's going to fall out of the sky now. Um, the roof situation. Let's see. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. 
Thank you, the chicken little. Um, Mr. Johnson had a little accident because the roofers were dropping big steel things and the light shattered on top of them. And, well, I, I don't know, I just think it's kind of unsafe that we're holding school and work is being done on top of the roof like big heavy things can come crashing down. My feelings about the roof are uh, frustration, um, aggravation, and agita. But by the time it's finished, we'll finally have the right kind of roof, and it'll be airtight and watertight, and the building will be so much better because we won't have all of the messes inside that we've had probably for the last 25 years. Your whole party across this acid river, you've come to a boundary. The only thing that you have to get uh, through this acid river, besides your beautifully intelligent minds, okay, and your physical strength, your communication abilities, are these three boards. You must use them to get your whole party past this safely before the stampede, which is in 10 minutes. They will be here. Uh, yeah, just... No, 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 no. Oh no, the boy splashed! I nicked the acid river and he has lost his <laughs> no, <laughs> again. His vocal cords were burnt out right. in the acid right. river. Try here. There you go. Yeah, oh, oh no, another board splashed into the acid river. You guys. You're an idiot. Right. <laughs> we gotta have somebody step on it. Someone was And oh, poor damn. Greg is blinded, uh -huh. his retinas uh -huh. are uh -huh. out of whack. Yeah. Oh, oh no, he's in the air. Oh, 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 oh. Let the games begin. You have 20 seconds to watch. Starting now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
and this is his stuffed animal, which he sleeps with every night. Uh, you look cute, like a stuffed animal, I tell you. We can put you on a shelf. Okay, thank you, thank The Mrs. Thank Baker you. stuffed animal. Live from the, uh, what is this, the sports office or whatever. I got some Spain people here, what's your name? Hey, Iñaki. <coughs> Hello. The, the main difference between the classes in Spain here is that in Spain the teacher is uh, more far from the student. No. Yes, there are some things we don't have in Spain. Food is completely different. You eat different things from us. Hello, baby. What do you want me to talk to you? Yeah. It is my baby with him. No, it's hers. <laughs> He's monstrous. I say something, say something. He usually uh, <laughs> say anything. Did you hear it? <laughs> and say it. Hey man, what are you doing with the pang? <laughs> the pang. <laughs> with the pang. <laughs> Anything we want. Say something in Spanish. Anything. Anything at all. Anything in Spanish. Curse. <laughs> 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 what? Anything. Anything. La devaluación del dólar está provocando que, que, <laughs> que, que, que el, los tipos de interés bajen en Wall Street. <laughs> she will not long be with them. You recognize the signs. How long would you give her? Perhaps six months, who knows? I don't think, I don't think you'll be able to do any sightseeing tomorrow. Oh, but I shall. I'm quite all right. No, you're not. You're going to be ill. I'm not, I'm not. Go up and lie down. I'm not going to be ill. I don't want Always no. I'll come with you, Ginny. No. Let her go up by herself. I want Nadine to come. Then of course I will. The child prefers to go up alone. Don't you, Ginny? Yes. I'd rather go alone. Do you think I'm dead? I've been here four days. And as soon as you've come, I've got the wrong room. But I do 
See? Now, if you want my room special, you could have come to me in a friendly spirit. Now, I don't say I would have, but I might. This might be the King Solomon Hotel, but you're not Queen of Sheba. I've loved you for a long time, you know that. All I want is for you to have some happiness in your life. Perhaps no one is happy. That's ridiculous, and you know it. You've been a loyal wife to Lennox. You've put up with an impossible life for his sake. Well, now the time has come where you've got to think for yourself. I am not a tourist. And I have a very good sense of value. Yes, you very clever English lady. You want to enjoy yourself, see the sights. You like gilly gilly men. Pull chickens out of hats, out of sleeves, out of shoes, everything. You've got an appointment, Mrs. Boynton. An appointment you'll have to keep. An appointment with Deb. She says that I'm ill. She wants me to be ill. She makes me ill. She says they're going to shut me up. To shut me up. No, no. You must be calm. I want to come with you. I know. Why can't I go? Because she won't let me. For the moment, that is true. She won't let me go. Hold on, Jean. Just hold on. Do you understand? It is only a matter of waiting. Perhaps, perhaps not waiting very long. When she is dead, I can go. That's what you mean, isn't it? When she is dead, we can all go. Don't talk like that. Why not? You haven't changed your mind, have you? What makes you think I would have changed my mind? What's the good in staying with Lennox? I have to start a new life. You. It'll be a happy one, I promise you. <laughs> Mr. Boynton, I feel I have some very distressing news. Your mother is dead. You have a very nice funeral in Jerusalem. Very expensive. I take you to first class monumental shop, buy you big stones with angels and wings, a big slab of Jerusalem stone, very fine text from the Bible. The owner, he make you a special price if I ask him. He very big man. All the best dead people go to him. Well, that's when I saw Mrs. Boyd. She was sitting up there quite alone, and she rolled up her sleeve and injected a hypodermic into her arm. I was quite astonished. <laughs> You're quite sure? What happened then? Well, my dear, it's quite like a novel. She unscrewed the knob on her stick, and she put the hypodermic inside. That's when I knew it was drugs, not drink, as Lady Westerham said.
Thomas Jefferson was raised by his father. I am satisfied with the findings that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it, Reederman. Fox 5 News was sponsored in part by Pez, America's favorite treat. On the day of September 23, 1993, two professional plastic surgeons began a facelift on Gertrude Farfamugan, an elderly lady at the age of... What do you mean? Here's a reenactment of the Indians at the first Thanksgiving hunting for turkey. This is 6 o'clock news. Michael Jackson has millions of fans. Jackson's lawyer. Observing the tail fin. Addiction to painkillers. Amy Fisher was also a waste of our taxpayers' money. Is Barney really a satanic pawn? He became hysterically happy, then hysterically sad, and reportedly banged his head into a wall. Maxintes irator, sum terigum contra, tiberium s, super potem livium, referere modo potest, splendium consilium. 
Gratias TV Ago, non punto max, maxitam nos montes transire salarias expatuisi. Prima luce te videa. In tuo oculo, conspicitam, intuitam habes, consentine. Ere, ubi solus eram visinonem abo in skendes, crux et verba, in hoc signa winces. In hoc signa winces. Et in mio somnia vox dicit, mios milites cum ex et cum lina sua scuta designare. Cur signum Christianorum est, ubi abissime et coplas. Et a vero, et mio signum crux erit. <laughs>
like majoring in music. Come on, Good dance. morning. We're going to dance. My major interest would be I like to work with animals, especially dogs and horses. My summer was filled with uh, plenty of excitement. <laughs> Worked on the race car all summer. And uh, the second week I was on an island and uh, most of the nights I slept on the dock, and two of the nights I slept in a hammock. A banana. Um, I'd have to be a quinta. Exactly, I don't know what it is either. I'd have to be, um, I'd have to be a tomato. I like it because that's, that's what I want to do when I get older and I feel like I'm actually accomplishing something. I work most of the summer. Oh, that's terrible. Where'd you work? Pennington Markets. Idea of daycare in general. Um, I think that daycare is good um, for, the for the people that have to bring their kids there. I personally wouldn't. After school, I usually go to work and at June Sweet Shop, and if I don't go to work, I go home and babysit. There's three colleges that I chose. I'm going for accounting as a major and child psychology as a minor. Uh, no, my parents supported my... It's something that I've always wanted to do. Ever since I was little, I wanted to join in. I just... <laughs> something I wanted to do. He's Mark Spencer. I am Mark Spencer. <laughs> I'm, or Rufus. I go by Rufus, too. Jesus. Jesus. I do cross-country in the fall. 
And in the spring, I do spring track. And I like spring track better. The other guys in the other raft decided that it'd be funny to throw us into the water. Um, they had it stuck on rocks, yeah. They had a hole in their boat. Alright, try that one again. I messed up! Wait! What do I do? Okay, I start over. It's been fun. It's been kind of hard, but it's been a lot of fun. I just got back from the uh, hike, seven mile hike, and I didn't want to do it at first because uh, it was hard going up the hills and stuff. But After school, I usually drive around places, go get a slurpee. Or go to McDonald's. Yeah, I drive to school because I'm in marketing and you yeah, have to leave for work early. I told you we uh, dance, hang out, meet different people. Watashi wa sekai de girlfriend or ski They just have an attitude. You try to be nice to them because you have to, but. And then just give you an attitude. Feeling the workload, it's loosening. <laughs> it's like I'm not doing any work now because it's the end of the year, I'm slacking off. So I like to listen to music and I like to draw. And that's basically about it. Uh, I had it above 250 before. Gets a little hairy trying to hold that steering wheel going that fast. I've been playing softball ever since I can remember, since I was like five. Um, soccer I started playing when I was like third grade maybe. And it was started, the student council felt that people needed to get more involved. People in our school, that we lacked spirit, we didn't do much, so. I drive to school, so I don't have to take the bus and deal with the underclassmen and I don't know, like watching everyone flip around. Like when I was little, I used to watch everyone like flip around on everything and it looked really cool and I always wanted to do it, so. Get my hair done at the mall. There's some mall department stores. I get my nails done, get them frosted, my tips frosted, my hair done. But if the, the guy that I was going with, if we were just friends, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a problem. But if we were going out, then that's a little different. When I was a freshman, I probably didn't hang out with as many people as I do now. Like, it was just a couple of friends and we'd be sleeping over at each other's houses every weekend. I mean, there's a lot of guys that in this school that, especially in this school, that are like real wusses. Women can't drive as soon as it starts raining. And she's a woman driver. She can't drive. So she called me up, made me late for school. But because of this little block right here, then it's like, you start, you, you end here, and it's like you're the same as when you started, when, when you ended, when you start winter track. I don't know what I would have done without him. Teaching me how to hit and field and, and pitch. He's just a great guy. On Stay True, um, we paint the sceneries, like uh, the flats. The, the feeling I have is just basically to get it done and like, and to like it to look really well. It was uh, seventh grade in Chicago. It was a lot colder there, so my friend had some old skates. He took me out to the pond. Marketing is just marketing is like it's like mathematics and stuff. That you get to go to competitions and competitions are fun. Well, on Monday we come in and we have folders that Miss Venice has for us, and we write down our hours and how much we got paid for the week. Yes. Be loyal to your boss, never yell at customers, and, and be a hard worker, children. My name is Alex Jameson, and I work at the Pennington Quality Market. <coughs> well, we went to a lot of places. We went to Princeton, we went to uh, Forestall Village, the Marriott, and the... Our car is, let me see, 20... 21 years old. It's older than I am. <laughs> I don't know. It's all right. Don't don't get a close up. I don't like close ups. But sample machine, it's good, I guess. Bye. I'm usually playing basketball or like studying or something. <laughs> I, I didn't get it. it was, I inherited it. It, 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 it. I pump gas, make sandwiches, clean up. Run the register, 
everything there is to do, I do it. So I jumped, and I slid, and I survived, and Mr. O'Brien pulled me down in the end. He's my big hero. <laughs> See, I uh, shovel cow manure sometimes, and and pot plants and stuff like that in the front or sweep the walk. I think it's great. I've learned so much in the last four years. I don't think I would have been able to make it in the real world. Well, I'm just not, you know, normally hang out like with friends, you know. Um, just, you know, do whatever is going on that night. We decided to do it again as like sentimental thing since it's been done since eighth grade, so. Okay. Um, I work at Pizza Hut. And um, I'm a cook over at Pizza Hut. Hey. Wait, let's start over. Prince's name, maybe he's lesser of two evils, you know? Who are you going to vote for? Like an idiot or an idiot, you know? It's a 50-50 chance. You roll the dice on that one. Bunch of lame ducks. I can't guarantee it, but I'm sure it'd be... <laughs> I'm sure it'd work out better, too. Okay. Everyone's advantage. Because we are not permitted to leave the school grounds on any occasion except for when lunch is provided and you don't feel like sticking around you can sign out for that but um i drive to school because i leave after eighth period and i need a way to get home uh it's not as useful as a pickup truck I, I'd, I'd like to have a truck or like a chevy suburban or a bronco or something if i had the money to put the gas in it that's fine all right go I think it's atrocious that we don't have an outdoor smoking area, and I think uh, the faculty, the Board of Education, have absolutely no regard for the rights of smokers as people. So, man, I just want to say one thing to the class of 1994. I want you guys to have a... Hi, I'm Joe Maximo, and uh, I've been smoking for about four years now, and it's quite easy to sit around teachers around here smoking, and come here every period, light the cigarette, and take the class. It's not cool to come into the bathrooms when teacher comes in or whatever. You got, uh, you could, most people go up to the urinal like this, and like, stand there pretend they're taking a leak, but they're really not. They have a cigarette in their hand, they just douse it if a teacher comes in. Or, let's see what else happens. Uh, person just stands here like I am like this, they're sitting here, smoking a cigarette, teacher comes in, they pop behind here, uh, the garbage can, and they get away with it usually, because teachers can't catch it without the cigarette actually in your hand. This bathroom can be full of smoke, but they still can't catch it. I think it's disgusting and I don't like breathing it and I hate having to sit in hall duty and uh, kick guys and girls out of the bathrooms um, but I feel like it's really out of hand here so we have to do something so what I do is spray Lysol <laughs> or um, stand uh, at the door and I, I open the boys door and I say let's go out because I know a lot of them are, are in there smoking and uh, for some reason they're all coming out of lunch and coming down here to smoke so um, I think something has to be done I, I would like to see uh, fines given to kids who are smoking and uh, let them be charged for it and let them pay for it because it's against the law and it shouldn't be happening here uh, I don't know I think smoking is just it's too big a problem to not do anything about, and it's way too common, and there's too many people doing it, and it's, it smells really bad. And secondhand smoke is just as bad as regular smoke.
where the mountains might crumble down. Something. Where the time has just begun. If we get suspended for five days on the first offense, nine days on the second offense, and uh, expulsion on the third offense, which is really stupid. But uh, we can smoke at Denny's. That's cool. If yeah, there's a smoking section at Denny's, but there's no smoking section in Hopewell Valley. I'm glad that the new policy is in effect. Um, I'm glad that it's strict because I think that we need to stop smoking in the school as much as possible for a number of reasons. Um, I'm a smoker, but. I don't smoke in the bathrooms, and I hate when people smoke in. I hate when people smoke in the bathrooms. It really bothers me. And even I'm a smoker, so I feel bad for the people who don't smoke in the bathrooms. But I think they're going a little bit overboard with these rules. Well, yeah, a little. I I approve the new smoking policy. I think we should instead of having five days out of school, I think we should have five days in school because in schools are much more punishing than out of schools, because in schools are just the worst thing, really. They're just sitting in a little room with no windows for five days. I know I wouldn't do it again. I find the new smoking policy a little out of control and a little extreme, and I prefer it the other way, and actually I prefer it even better to have the outside smoking area. It must have been cold there in my shadow
without a name for so long. A beautiful smile to hide the I know. 